my loves I wanted to show you how I did my little proposal boxes for all my bridesmaids and my matron of honor and maid of honor and um, so I'm gonna show my matron of honors one right now which is my sister and I don't think she'll mind well she might mind a little bit but you'll be okay so I started off with these right here and so my colors are burgundy and rose gold and tan and I was able to this is originally a cupcake box and they already have the little window right here so I just got pictures of with me and with the um, girl that was gonna be the bridesmaid or matron Ron or any of that so this is a picture back from when me and my sister were real real little look at that look at that jacket I'm wearing <laughs> But we were cute. I'm wearing a big old, what is it, a leopard? Completely fake. There's no, no animals hurt in the making of this video. And so when you open it, oh, let me prop that up. You're going to automatically see this ring here and a little note card. And on the back it says, Will you be my bride's matron of honor? Because in my wedding, my groom is going to have a matron of honor. So, groom's matron of honor, bride's matron of honor. And our little card here shows the wedding colors and what the dress, jewelry, and shoes will be. So then, there is that and then when you lift this up underneath is a little necklace that I have for them and it's like the one I'm wearing right now which is a little rose gold necklace with a heart and there's two inside of it hopefully you can see that okay and then I had uh, bracelets made for everybody all the women associated so this includes um, this is the matron of honor. I have one that says bride. There's ones that say bridesmaid. I have them and it's the same colors and the same little charms and stuff. It's just the words are different. So mine will say bride. My bridesmaids will say bridesmaid and I have two flower girls and they'll say flower girl. And then they also had them for mother of the bride and mother of the groom. And I think that was everybody. And so, um, I was just, and I found these on a really good deal. They're originally $18 each, and it, it popped up on Pinterest, and I clicked on the little picture, and they're originally $18, and I got them for $6.99, $7 each. So I went ahead and snagged those up while I could. And so I was able to surprise everybody for the most part uh, with them. And, um,. I really just loved how these turned out. It was simple, but still got the point across. And they were really personalized because every picture on top was a different picture. It was me with my bridesmaids and me with my flower girls. I made my flower girls ones also, even though they're really, really young, they can hold on to those as a keepsake. So I've seen these other videos where they've done bridesmaids boxes and or I should say proposal boxes. This is a proposal box. Bridesmaids box is more uh, the gift you give to your bridesmaids at the end of it all. And so these are the proposal boxes when you're first asking them. And so uh, um, I wanted to ask them all in a very special way and kind of um, start the whole process off on a really good note and I've seen the other, what I was actually saying was the other proposal boxes, they were really big and everything. And I wanted something um, that I could probably ship if I needed to in the mail without it being too complicated because I have a couple of them that are in other states and they're going to have to come in for it. And I wanted to put more effort into their gifts at the end and not that this didn't still take some effort and planning, but... Um, I just love doing stuff like this so hopefully this guy's kind of gave you an idea maybe if you're thinking of doing a proposal box I found those little keychain um, 
big rings on or I think it's Oriental Trading Express and there's a whole pack of them of like 12 or 24 for eight bucks or something like that if it was even that it was less than a dollar for each one I know that and the little necklace I found on the wish app and they were technically free but then you just paid shipping and so um, those were only a couple of dollars so that's not bad not bad at all and then just getting the pictures printed out if you don't have them printed out already. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and me sh walking you through and showing you my proposal boxes for my bridesmaids. Alright guys, loves and hugs until next time.